Mr. President, I come to the floor to speak about our nation's war against ISIS and why we must pay for it responsibly. As our nation's armed forces continue their critical mission to degrade and destroy ISIS, which is already months underway, we need to consider another part of our strategy, paying for that war. This is not a new concept. Our nation has a long history of paying for our military missions. In fact, every war since the Revolutionary War to the first Gulf War was paid for. Through each of our nation's armed conflicts, new revenue streams not only provided the resources our military need, needed, they reminded the American people our country was at war and we all needed to contribute to the effort. But after 14 years and two wars that have cost our nation trillions of dollars, I fear we have forgotten this important lesson from our history. We cannot write another blank check for war. Paying for our war against ISIS is the right thing to do. It is fiscally, morally, and militarily responsible. As we continue to debate the authorization of this war in Congress, we need to be honest with the American people and with each other about what it will cost our nation. That's why as we debate the budget this week, I've offered an amendment that requires us to raise the revenue to pay for our fight against ISIS. The American people deserve no less, and I urge my colleagues to join me on this amendment to pay for our critically important war against ISIS and ensure we fight this battle together as one country. Thank you. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.